Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show tonight. This Victor Gonzalez, a Mexican-born lefty, is the man on the mound in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it wasn't a great performance in his last start, but he did pitch well enough to earn the win. We'll see if he can turn in a little bit better performance in this one. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, I know we're getting ready for game two, but yesterday, man, road trip got off to a great start. They pounded the baseball, pitched, played defense. This team that comes in riding high into the game two. Hitter. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Big swing at the knuckle curve well, gets nothing but air. 0-2 right now. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Ready with the first pitch. The Here it comes. Pitch. There's the fastball that gets the lower oh, yeah. part of the zone called for a strike. Two away now, two Man, away. that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate one ball, inning. One, one and one the count. The pitch. Yeah. A ball and two strikes. Strike this guy Bases out. are empty here with two men out. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Right fielder coming on. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man Batting coming up, four. the number four hole the monster, as soon as he steps no in the batter's way. box, there's a runner in scoring position. Oh, no balls in one strike. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, down in the count 0-2, I'd like to see a little choke. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Striding in, Luke Rayleigh. He set to lead Way off to the home Luke half of the second. The right hey. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Here we go. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Softly hit out to short. And this will be flagged down easily for the first out of the inning. And up next will be Kelbert Ruiz. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Bottom of the second here with no score. Good knuckle curve and he's got him behind 0-2. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly-legged him at the plate a little bit. Froze him, but just missed the zone. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Cabert Ruiz goes down for the second down. out in the bottom half. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. Hey, it's funny. That pitch... I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit. And no why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. One ball, two strikes. Now a down. fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a one, deep one, one. breath after that high fastball. You gotta be leery of And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. So nothing happening this time around. Now at the plate, Christian Lopes comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. A high fastball is in there. Swings through it for strike number two. Now the pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Striding into the box, Errol Robinson. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. 0-1 the count. Here it comes. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. A little bit off the outside, it's 1-2. Now the pitch. 
Ball that's up there. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. Ready for another chance. Michael Gigliotti looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Ball one to start the at bat. And that's lifted the other way out to left. I got it. Aparicio is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the. Riding in once again, Justin Yurchak. He's 0 for 1 thus far. In there for strike one. A good fastball above the belt is normally a pitch that batters love to take a rip at, but that one froze it. This one's flared toward left center. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Now at the play, Tyler White. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Oh, Guys oh. on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Cody Hosey. Now he was a strikeout victim in his base. first try. Cody. Here's a high fastball that's fouled Cody. off to the right of the catcher here for strike one. Oh, one pitch on its way. Two out, nobody on. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So no runs, no hits, no air. Leading up for the Dodgers. First pitch of the at bat right on field. its way. Right. Knuckle ball curve right breaks outside for ball one. Hey. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, there and it's go. one and one. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Aparicio comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. First offering now on its way. The catcher. Strike Chamber. swinging, Hold chased one. a high Ruby. one there. Ruiz, a Venezuelan-born ball player. This is the first year of his new four-year contract. A leap here, but it ticks off his glove. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. to the plate now Carlos Rincon as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game and that's in there as well 0 and 2 now yeah this is straight survival mode down 0 2 the numbers are definitely not with the batter here and he struck him out strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him now as a look now the pitch inside fastball just inside Yeah. And a strike to even the count. One and one. All right, here we go now. From the stretch. Swung on and missed. Yep. One and one two and now. Two. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Now at the plate, Errol Robinson. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Michael Gigliotti. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. Hey, one down, one down right now. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Oh. And that's the second out. Striding forward now is the DH. Justin Yurchak. No the hits for him to this point. That's Not unlike ball. many of his fellow teammates. One, and One ball, no yeah. strikes to count. Down the first baseline. But a foul ball. One and one. And the pitch. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire this.
Digging in once again, Tyler White, a hit in two tries so far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. Well, he's done a real nice job away. with that breaking ball in this go. start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. Two strikes. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. And nobody away. The 1 2. Now here's one hit in the air to the right three, side. Two, two. And that'll be a base hit. That's so right away, the possible tying run is aboard to start the bottom of the seventh. You know, D-Roll, there's been some great pitching in this one so far after that knock. That's only the third hit of the game, and we're getting late into this one. Yeah, they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. They got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four strikeouts in the first two games. So this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Ah, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. That's a big strikeout there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. He's set. Here it comes. Cabert Ruiz is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Can't waste getting the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got a bear. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors in a man. At the plate, Carlos Rincon. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. This one's blooped out toward right center field, and that'll get down for a base hit. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. Now, one of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try well, to get man. ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Line drive to center field, and that's in there. Base hit. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Right there for strike one. And this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. To second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Digging in, Michael Gigliotti, and their runners at the corners now. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh hey, it's nearly impossible to turn two with a guy that could run like this. It's even harder when he comes out of the box hitting from the left side. You really need something tailor-made to even have a chance to get him at first. So now to the plate, Justin Yurchak. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And he misses with it one and one. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. Throw gets him, two down. But one's all they get as the run scores. Now here comes the skipper out of the third base dugout. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so... It Four wins in a row for these guys, and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they Our can keep this one. up. Five, two.